Okay guys, so if you get one of the hobbyist machine like I do here, the 3018 CNC, you probably want to know like how accurate it is. And uh, you probably should test this out because uh, accuracy is one of the main features that you want to have when you have a CNC machine. So let me just show you how to do this very quickly. So the next step is just open your computer, connect it to the CNC machine. Uh, and uh, open your candle software and uh, what you need to do next is just type in the console double dollar sign here and what it does here just it show all the parameters just already set set in the uh, CNC machine so you just do control A control C and uh, open a notepad file just uh, paste it to there then you have uh, all of this like saved uh, somewhere then you can just put it back if you need it and uh, what you have to pay attention here just in this process is uh, dollars uh, 100, dollars 101 and dollars 102 this is the setting for the X and Y and Z axis and uh, the right now it's all set for like 800 um, step per millimeter on all three axes so what I want to do next is just uh, I want to measure the in initial position of the X axis and then tell it to move uh, 50 millimeter and then I want to measure how how much it actually move and then I can, can calculate the uh, the new number of step need to be put in to move one millimeter and uh, that's it and then I will test again to see if it actually do the uh, right movement so first of all if you want it to move like 50 millimeter to the right so you're going to type in G91 what it does just is going to tell the comp uh, the machine just it want to move uh, 50 millimeter or uh, move whatever from the position right now so then you type in G1 and uh, it's 50 at the feet rate of I want to say 500 millimeter like this I'm not going to press enter yet because I have to measure the initial position so let me just do that on the CNC side uh, I just going to use my caliper turn it on put it to zero okay so and measure from the edge this edge to this edge the position of the x-axis and I'm going to lock it so right now it's a 13.51 millimeter so let me move it 50 millimeter to see how much it move Okay, so I just going to measure again. Okay, so it's a 63.38 so now I can just take this number minus the old number and I can click the step so let me just do that I just want to use my calculator on the phone so 63.38 minus 13.51 so it moved about 49.87 millimeter so what you need to remember this number and then uh, do this so 50 divided by 49.87 and you multiply by 800 that the number of steps that needed to move one millimeter right now and you have the new number is uh, 802.085 step 
So that's this number you will need to enter in the uh, candle software to have the new setting. So let me just show you how to do that. Okay, so here on the computer side, you just uh, enter the new number. So dollars one hundred is for the x axis and eight o two point o eight five four. Okay, then press enter. Okay, it's got an error. Just uh, I think because I enter. Uh, too many digits after the point, so just put dollars one hundred equal eight o two point o eight five. Okay, now it's okay. So this is set for the x axis. Let me just try again to move it back like fifty millimeter to see how much is the uh, the compared to the initial position. So I just going to do G one X minus fifty F five hundred Okay, so let's see how much it moved now. Yeah, look at that. It's thirteen point thirty thirty six, so it's really close to fifty millimeter. So one axis done. Let me just show you how to do the Z axis. It should be the same way. So first of all, I just going to move the this axis up a little bit, and then uh, move it down because this one I just don't have much space like the X axis. I just going to move it down with twenty millimeter. So let's just try that. Okay, just take my caliper and measure what the initial position. Okay, it's 8.79, 8.79 millimeter. So, okay, I just going to tell it to go down 20 millimeter. So, I just G1, Z, minus feet 20, F500. Okay, and measure it again. Okay. So we say 28.79. So it's actually quite accurate on the Z axis. But uh, if actually, if it's not, you can just do the same with the X axis, just enter dollars one, uh, 102 instead of dollars uh, uh, one, uh, 100. And recalculate the step uh, needed as I calculate with the X axis.